Hi everybody, welcome to Chelsea's Tarot Readings. Um, so as most of you guys might know, we have Scorpio Moon coming up May 18th. Um, I'm a Scorpio. Uh, my moon is in Scorpio. My sun is in Scorpio. Uh, <clears throat> this is a... Uh, I felt like I had to do this reading. Um, not just for me, obviously. Not even for me. But I just... I'm so... I just know my intuition is going to be really be really strong when it comes to this reading. I just got a feeling. Um, so for this one, it's going to be like, um, what's the energy um, between you and them? And this is going to be significant because Scorpio, <clears throat> Scorpios are very deep. So it, it's getting to the point. It's getting to the realness of emotions the truth um, as well as sexual passion so um, I took the time to kind of do this pick a card so um, we can get a look at how the energy is going to be between both of you on this day uh, how it might impact you that sort of thing um, so yeah I did four piles for this one this is going to be pile one pile two three and four I always post the timestamps below and in the description uh, if you'd like to book a personal reading, that link is always in the description as well uh, as my email. And I always email back as uh, quickly as I can. Trust me. I'm always checking that thing. So yeah, guys, uh, if you like, give a like, subscribe, and thank you guys so much. Enjoy. So hopefully you guys uh, already know about this person because, again, this video is specifically for a love connection. So the energies, I mean, you know, if you want to see just your energy, you can see that too, but it's more for a connection. Um, so I have your feelings right here for them during uh, this during the new moon i'm sorry <laughs> jesus and um so your feelings we have their feelings right here and then these cards are going to be like the mutual feelings um so yeah let's start <clears throat> wow so i mean okay this makes sense because again as i mentioned in the intro um scorpio moon um there's a lot of sexual um energy so this doesn't surprise me but both of you will be feeling this way and again it's towards each other um you know so if obviously you were thinking of them and them thinking of you it's going to be in a very romantic way um and that's going to be the energy Ooh, fifth chakra archangel gabriel so let's see what we have for that card mm. so we have self-expression and speaking your truth this is going to be basically the um <sighs> the energy for both of you um you, have, you may have had trouble with expressing emotions and ideas in the past, but Gabriel is here to tell you that your soul longs to take this leap now. Be aware that true communication includes how you speak to yourself, so never deny your profound, integral value. Speak up for yourself, write in your journal, let your words flow. Now is the time to express yourself freely and fully, and the universe always honors your choice to do so. Hmm. This card could also indicate that a, communi a communication project is coming or at a time of heightened communication with spirit and telepathy with others. So yeah, maybe you guys are also kind of going through um, the, the same energies as well um, when it comes to this. Maybe you both as well. If you're not in connection with them, because you know how the fifth chakra with Archangel Gabriel has to do with communication as well. So wanting... Um, basically the mutual wanting like maybe balance with that kind of yeah that's definitely what i get from that yeah and you both um you both geez, i can't even talk you both are feeling as though or will be feeling as though there will be kind of like this feeling in the back of your minds where you know adjustments need to be done or um adjustments are required uh, to move this connection forward or 
yeah just basically there's just adjustments required uh between this connection um so now we're gonna get into uh how you're gonna feel on may 18th so during this moon oh yeah yeah so queen of wands and the lovers so much maybe some all right so with the queen of wands and the lovers um yeah you guys are definitely very sexually attracted to this other person without a doubt especially with these two cards uh you guys just seem like it seems like on this day like you'll just be wanting to like you know embrace them like in every way possible um because again with the queen of wands especially with the lovers it's just a lot of passion um being sexually driven but as well as having like that soul connection and uh wanting to be intimate and wanting to have that uh bond so i mean that's good though i feel your um your attitude or your mood will be more positive than negative because yeah um maybe sometimes when you think about the connection it could be a little negative since we have adjustments are required we have fifth chakra so it's about communication uh let's see their feelings on may 18th wow um yeah so then it, um again i feel as though I'm, i might i might have to get a clarification card but i do feel as though they will be thinking about you and yeah and with the devil too i feel this would not come up unless it meant the same thing but again the sexual attraction the soul connection it's there um i can just tell by the details in the cards that it's there um this will cause them though to go in a hermit mode because maybe this person is a little sentimental or deep when it comes to this particular topic so it'll kind of be like to themselves um let me see what that devil card's about high priestess reversed um yeah i feel for for some of you guys maybe there's a lot of there could be between you two a lot of secrets going on or a lot of unknown things you know what i'm saying like maybe not knowing what uh what's going on at the time like i do feel as though what this is telling me is um they want to they don't want something to be like a secret or they don't want um it to be hidden like i don't know why i get that with the high priestess reverse with the devil because there is attraction um there is attraction like there is sexual energy um yeah and something again i'm getting something about it not like not wanting to be a secret um yeah that's what i feel like i don't even know why i'm getting that like i know you guys might know that with the high priestess uh it is it is sometimes about secrets or intuition so you know what i'm getting with that is definitely like exposing um or you know makes sense too with the communication because with the high priestess upright i feel that wouldn't really be communication so reversed it is more about communication so that could also yeah so that could go hand in hand but again the uh we already know that because of this card so but yeah guys so there are going to be some sexual raw energies definitely between you two uh whether you feel this or not um coming up so yeah, not too bad, guys. Take it easy, all right? <laughs> Bye. I'll see you guys in my next video. Give a like and subscribe. It's going to be, um, again, uh, Scorpio. Scorpio Moon, uh, May 18th. What's going to be the feelings between you and this person? This is going to be a very deep day. Uh, let's see from the Romance Angels. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So... This could mean um, that you and this person, this person you're wondering about, it's someone new and you're both feeling this way, that it's new love. 
for others of you, maybe um, you both have this feeling of either wanting new love or wanting a new love between you two. Um, yeah, it could be that you both, uh, we'll get into the other cards, that way it uh, gives me an idea. The thinking woman. Hmm. So for those of you who your your person is like a masculine, they are, I feel that what's gonna, cause this is mutual energy. So you could be on their mind. Um, uh, I feel as though this is kind of like a, mm, and obviously if you're a man thinking of a woman, this would be the energy of you thinking about her and then obviously her. A time to give rather than take. So I see too that you guys will have this new, um, this mutual energy of giving rather than taking. Um, <clears throat> so let me get, I'll get one more for the mutual energy for the romance angels. So <clears throat> yeah, so we also have that you both could be healing family issues or again, if you're not with them, Maybe you are both wanting this new love because um, due to like family issues um, and maybe that's what broke you apart. That's kind of, cause yeah, um, that's what I get. Yeah, okay. Um, so let's get into, you know, what are your feelings gonna be regarding them? What are their feelings gonna be regarding you, etc. <laughs> so these are gonna be your feelings. All right, so this does tell me a couple things. You are, like, what you want to do, this is going to be kind of like your mindset. You definitely, you want to go out with this person. You want to move forward with this person. <clears throat> you want to go have fun with them, um, do fun things. Um, I feel like you want to celebrate with them. And yeah, I feel just moving forward, having fun, just enjoying each other's company. But yeah, I do feel as though, you know, you could be having fun, but there could be that um, that need of wanting to move forward, if that makes sense. Yeah, like you're going to have, a, I feel your like your emotions will be pretty good that day. But, you know, there will also be that chariot. Wow, that's actually this is really nice. So you could be an earth sign. This is how the person, obviously, this is, you know, their feelings for you, your feelings for them. They, um, they feel as though you are very emotionally satisfying to them. Um, um, they feel as though you're this very down to earth, um, feminine and, you know, you could also be like a motherly figure, um, Someone just with like really beautiful energy, especially with the Queen of Pentacles not being reversed or anything, especially, and I also obviously want to point out the Queen of Pentacles with the Nine of Cups. So you could also be someone who's very successful. Um, but yeah, I feel their kind of, their take on this will be like, um, they'll be pretty emotionally happy about you, their feelings about you. They seem content. Um, and so this is going to be their energy. They're going to be content. We do have, um, a female on their mind and yeah. And again, it's a thinking woman. And then for your energies, we have the chariot and the three of cups. So again, having fun partying, but also wanting to move forward with this person. I'll get, um, one more card for Um, they will also be feeling kind of like, and this doesn't surprise me just because, <clears throat> just because, um, for those of you who like, I, and it, with the healing family issues, they just feel as though like, like they're needing to like, what do I want to say? They may feel like left out in the cold. Cause that's the first thing I always think of with the five of pentacles like maybe they'll be feeling the sense of they will be feeling some sadness with the five of pentacles and 
you know, it is in connection with the Queen of Pentacles, but this does have to do about, um, particularly has to do with this connection. So, you know, I feel as though they could be struggling financially as well. So maybe that's on their minds, but, um, yeah. So not bad energies for this day, actually. Um, we do have emotions, obviously, but it's not, you know, it's nothing that's surprising, guys. It's, it's Scorpio moon, so. But yeah, finances are also going to be on this person's mind as well. So that was pile two, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Give a like, subscribe. I will see you in my next video. Bye. So um, what's the energy going to be like on May 18th between you and this person in this connection? Let's get right into it. These are going to be the mutual energies right here. So mutually, you guys are wanting trust within this situation. So if you're with them, um, they're wanting to, you know, gain more trust with you. And if you're not with them, um, you both are kind of just trying to have faith uh, in this connection. Yeah, that's what I get with trust. Um, yeah, okay. This doesn't surprise me that this came out either because, again, with trust, you guys are feeling as though, like, there could be other possibilities. Like, um, maybe there's another, like, saying as though, like, oh, maybe there's another way we can make this work or, um, you know, both feeling as though there could be endless possibilities regarding this connection. So just trying to keep... It could be like keeping your options open, but also knowing that there's a lot of possibilities. Um, so kind of having faith, yeah. Oh, guys, yeah, okay, so there's a lot of warring going on with both of you, actually. Um, nothing is yet set in stone. You guys are losing faith in this situation, so... Um, especially on the 18th, this is going to be hitting both of you hard. So not just you, it's going to be hitting them too. Um, mutable moon, yeah. Look at those waves even, you know. So let's see your feelings. All right. Uh, with the seven of cups, this is a feeling of confusion. You know, you guys, I feel as though you're going to be very confused. And then paired with the three of wands, it, it's just like, I'm confused. What do I do? Where do I go with them? What the hell? Like, you know, um, I sense frustration. I sense, yeah, and I sense a lack of faith. I sense confusion and not knowing whether or not to move forward. And yeah. All right, and let's see their energy. They will be, you know, their feelings for you, uh, they have very romantic feelings towards you, sexual as well. They're, um, they want, I feel as though they will be thinking, this day they'll be, when it comes to you, they'll be thinking of like a new passionate beginning with the Ace of Wands, as well wanting to flirt with you, wanting to play with you, you know, that type of thing. Like be playful with you um it's more of like with the page of cups it's like a emotionally immature or like a crush card but like um definitely feelings there and um definitely sexual attraction like um that's what i really get from that um they'll be a little bit in the feels you know romancing but with the ace of wands it's sexual nature as well I'll get one more card for how they're feeling. They'll be feeling about you. They, yeah, so they could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but they feel as though you make them feel grounded and you do make them feel masculine to a point where um they feel comfortable um so you could so the thing too with the king of pentacles since it's like earth energy it makes me assume that when i see this and especially it's upright definitely having a really comfortable sense when they're in when they're in your presence and 
Um, again, feeling like a king. So may, maybe you put them on a pedestal or a throne per se. Um, yeah, and I just feel like you could really, oh, look at Taurus. Um, I just feel like you, you could really boost their confidence and um, how they'll be feeling about you is more like you make them feel this way. That's interesting. Well, yeah, guys. So um, what I have to say before we end this real quick, uh, nothing set in stone, guys. <laughs> Adjacent possibility, guys. Do not lose faith, guys. Uh, it's telling you this three times. All right, so that was your pile, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, give a like, subscribe, and I hope to see you in my next video. Hey, my Bye. last pile. What's up, guys? For this, so for this, basically, I'll explain quick. This is going to be the mutual energies on this day for this connection. Um, this will be your feelings that day. Um, and it could be also related to this person and uh, same for them, they're on this side. So first we'll get into like the mutual. So I feel as though you both are having, you both will kind of, you both have, sorry, this mutual feeling of really wanting to like have, you know, have sex. Cause with honeymoon, that's what, that's kind of what I think of right away, but as well as you both have the feeling are going to have like this mutual feeling of wanting to get away like wanting to just go away with each other um that's also what i get with the honeymoon card um romance um obviously yeah you can even just tell like it's it's beautiful i love that picture i feel um Wow, that's nice. I like that energy. Wow. Magician and the mirror. I feel as though you both, um, you both feel as though this connection is probably powerful as well as anything can happen. And it kind of reminds me of, I think it was pile one. So for those of you who, or it could have been pile two, to be honest, it was probably pile two. <laughs> so you might've picked this one as well. This one's actually the last one in my book as well. Um, knowing in, yeah, so let me see. Yeah, I, okay, so again, it's basically just what, I, what I'm feeling. You both feel as though this is a very powerful connection. Notice too, uh, this could be significant. We have fire and we have water here. Um, yeah, you both feel as though this is a strong connection. New <laughs> wow. So you, it's funny cause uh, Scorpio. Um, so both of you will actually be, uh, working on your fears. Um, you know, you, you might have different fears when it comes to this connection. They might have different fears when it comes to to this connection but I feel you guys have a lot of fear during this time and it's time to kind of work through that and figure out you know what can you do to kind of uh, lessen the fear basically um, probably probably go watch some maybe guidance videos like the pick a card guidance um, I like what I love watching those when I, I need to pick me up because they're usually always accurate so um, definitely like do that but uh, uh, specifically on May 18th, you guys um, will be working through your fears. Uh, let's see your let's see your energy for this day. So I feel as though you you could be um, communicating a lot. You you probably will be communicating a lot. Um, if if you're thinking of a man and this man is an air sign, this could also be him showing up, but. I feel as though you guys will be communicating a lot. You'll be happy. Um, you might be spending time with family this day or like just, you know, maybe staying home, but, as, but you know, communicating, but as well as in that happy mood. You guys will be kind of in like a happy mood. Um, again, this is the general energy. So, so this is kind of like, you're gonna be your energy on this day. This isn't specifically saying like your feelings for them. Um, this is though, the mutual energy is kind of saying your feelings for each other. 
but um, in the potential. But yeah, for that particular day, you guys will be, I feel happy, probably at home. Um, also, with the King of Swords, um, to me, it does also represent wanting to communicate. So that's a strong indicator. Um, so let's get into their energies for May 18th. Wow. Um, wanting, I feel, okay, definitely, yeah, the... With the Eight of Wands, definitely sexual attraction going on. Um, start start of a new love. Um, they're going to be feeling sexual, very loving. Um, let's see feelings for you. Wanting, okay, with Knight of Pentacles, wanting to give you an opportunity. So very much so the Ace of Cups and the Eight of Wands um, could more than likely be related to you, especially because this is um, the, you know, the mutual connection. So, you know, wanting, wanting to definitely give you something, but not feeling as though it's the time, not feeling as though it's appropriate, that sort of thing. I'll get one more for their feelings for you. They're trying to be strong. They also see, with the strength card as well, I feel they see you as someone who's very strong. And again, I just feel with the Leo card, they, they are very sexually attracted to you. Um, they're trying to be strong when it comes to you. Maybe they might feel weak right now, and that's probably what their fears are. Um, but yeah, so their energy, the, I feel um, mood-wise, they'll probably be okay. Um, yeah, they probably they probably won't be that bad. I mean, they're, they're definitely going to be thinking about something, um, the start of something new. Yeah. So yeah, guys, that was pile four. If that resonated, give a like, subscribe, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, guys.